Hey guys, half here. So before I get into momentum and cabin losing pressure, I want to very briefly go over the current shit show with Unity and their new pricing model. If you don't know what that's about, other devs that understand it better, I've talked more about it, go watch them. But essentially, the pricing model isn't going to affect me in any meaningful way. This is not a big game. This is not going to like overnight sell 10 million copies or whatever. It's, it's just not going to happen. I am not that good. But when I am done with Cabin Losing Pressure, I am going to go and look at the pricing model again and really, really go over and decide if it's worth it to continue working with Unity. I might switch to something like Godot for Project Momentum or something like that. It's apparently a good 2D engine. So, yeah. That took about a minute. I'm just going to go swap over to Unity so we can talk about... Firstly, we're going to go over Momentum because that is the quickest. I haven't done a whole lot. What I've done here... <coughs> Sorry. Created interfaces for ability behaviors and created two ability behaviors already for damage and heal. Now, there's a lot to... There's not a whole lot to the code. Like, in very basic terms, I'm going to create a bunch of prefabs with different attack and ability behaviors attached to them. Like, a basic attack that has a damage script occurs on hit or when hit at the start of a turn, end of a turn, start round, end round, or permanent, etc., etc. And what this what this will allow is a bunch of abilities with several different behaviors. So if you want an attack that also heals that heals like an ally or something, you can drag the behavior on and then have it target an ally to heal. Or something to that effect. So yeah, there's not a whole lot to this so far. You've got ability, behavior. Oh, when I started a test battle script, but I haven't really done anything with it yet. So yeah. Momentum has been going slow because I've mostly been focusing on this one. Cap and losing pressure. Now... If you've seen my other two videos, you can probably tell that a lot's different about it. Primarily, the art. I changed up how the walls look. If you don't want to go and check, it used to be just squares everywhere. We've got edges, connected walls, etc. The text here is for debug purposes. It is not going to be in the final game. There's going to be some kind of visual indicator for things like a room being damaged or atmosphere going low. Also, now have four of these little guys. Also, the green one is named Leo. Do not ask me why. I did not pick it. But yeah, it's... It's still not perfect. They can still push each other around, etc. Now, let's see. Let me go over. I redid the art assets for the ship walls. I added some scripts to work on later. For the damage controller and asteroid prefab. So, essentially what's going to happen is that, and I believe I've said this already, you are an AI. You are being put through a simulation in order to determine your ability to handle rescuing astronauts like these four during a crisis. So, yeah, these are panicking. So yeah, you're going to see these four during a crisis. Specifically, at least for this first scenario, this ship is going to be going through an asteroid field. It's going to get hit with asteroids. And the atmospheric pressure 
of the rooms are going to go down. Now, when that happens, well, I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen. The atmosphere is going to drain out. That room will become deadly for the astronauts. They will potentially die. And, yeah. Your goal is to get out of that asteroid field as quickly as possible. With as many astronauts alive as possible. But initially, the time frame is going to be too short to actually succeed. Probably. So, it'll start out very slow. And then, at the end of that failure, your time is going to be increased. And then you'll start from the beginning again, go to the time. If you fail again, time increases again and again and again. Until eventually, you reach a maximum time. Or I guess a maximum, minimum time. You know what I mean? And then that will be your score if you succeed. So, yeah. There's also a shipped room script to manage the different rooms. We have four different astronauts here with their own slight animations. Wow, it does not look good when you zoom in. So, yeah. September was a bit of a slow month, at least as far as explanations go. Still need to do the engines, the glass. And, like, the big reason that the text is there is for debugging purposes. Like I said, there's going to be visual indicators in there. I'm thinking at the moment that as the atmosphere... As the atmosphere drains away, the room will be awash in red light or something to that effect, while damage will be shown as, like, cracks in the floor. I don't know. Could be interesting. So, yeah. That's what I've got to show you for now. Bit of a quick update. Only took about seven and a half minutes. So, thank you very much for watching. I will see you with the next one. Peace.